A Buffalo firefighter died fighting a massive fire in downtown Buffalo today. This was the scene earlier today. Buffalo firefighters responding to the four alarm fire on Main Street. Through a good portion of the afternoon, one firefighter we were told from engine two was unaccounted for. But just a short time ago, Buffalo Mayor Byron Brown confirming in a tweet that one firefighter has died. The fire started at DC Theatrics at 745 Main Street between Goodell and Tupper, just down the street from St. Louis Roman Catholic Church. We thank you for joining us on Most Buffalo Today. We are bringing you team coverage of this developing story this afternoon. Buffalo Fire officials announced just over an hour ago they would be providing an update for us at 4 o'clock. We'll bring that news conference to you live in its entirety when it begins. But until then, we can continue to take you through the details of what we know about this so far. We're going to begin with our Dave McKinley. Dave. Well, Kate, at this hour, Main Street remains closed between where I'm standing at Tupper and on up to Goodell. There are other traffic restrictions down here as well. Specifically, Tupper is closed between Pearl and Washington, all due to this massive four alarm blaze that broke out around 10 o'clock this morning. Let's take a look at what it looked like earlier. Fire investigators are also now looking into whether a work crew using a torch may have touched off the blaze, which they also believe may have smoldered for a time before it erupted and before firefighters were called and then came a partial floor collapse and then a mayday call from firefighters from Engine 2 who work out of a firehouse at Elmwood in Virginia. One of them did not escape. The four alarm blaze summoned firefighters from throughout the city who, due to the instability of the building, were then pulled back. The hardest thing actually was to get, keep our firefighters back from re-entering the building to, you know, to help our fallen firefighter. You know, that was the most difficult part of it. This is a difficult day uh, in the city of, of Buffalo, uh, and certainly we are asking for uh, prayers. It took hours to bring that blaze under control and the ability then to enter and search and eventually recover the body of the missing firefighter was hampered because of the danger of collapse. Now we are told, or I was told directly by the building owner that it is owned by former Congressman uh, Chris Jacobs, who was out of town, but told me by phone he had just purchased it in December and had planned to renovate it. We also understand that as soon as the last hot spots are put out, it's safe enough to do so. The likelihood is the demolition process will begin at that time. Reporting live from downtown Buffalo, Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News. Dave, thank you.